Narrated by Ma'i Muna. I screened the Prophet peace be upon him while he was taking a bath of Janaba. He washed his hands, poured water from his right hand over his left, and washed his private parts. Then he rubbed his hand over a wall or the earth, and performed ablution similar to that for the prayer but did not wash his feet. Then he poured water over his body, shifted from that place, and washed his feet. Narrated by Um Salama The mother of the believers, Um Sulaim, the wife of Abu Talha, came to Allah's messenger peace be upon him and said, O oh Allah's messenger peace be upon him. Verily Allah is not shy of telling you the truth. Is it necessary for a woman to take a bath after she has a wet dream, nocturnal sexual discharge? Allah's messenger peace be upon him replied, Yes, if she notices a discharge. Narrated by Abu Huraira The Prophet peace be upon him came across me in one of the streets of Medina and at that time I was Junub. So I slipped away from him and went to take a bath. On my return the Prophet peace be upon him said, O oh Abu Huraira, Where have you been? I replied, I was Junub, so I dislike to sit in your company. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Subhan Allah. A believer never becomes impure. Narrated by Anas bin Malik. The Prophet peace be upon him used to visit all his wives in one night and he had nine wives at that time. Narrated by Abu Huraira. Allah's messenger peace be upon him came across me and I was Junub. He took my hand and I went along with him till he sat down I slipped away, went home and took a bath. When I came back, he was still sitting there. He then said to me, O oh Abu Huraira, where have you been? I told him about it. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Subhan Allah. O oh Abu Huraira. A believer never becomes impure.